Hey Gemini, welcome to your next Lucky Break reading. I meditated with Archangel Metatron, focusing on finances and money, basically. So let's go ahead and start. We have Moon in Virgo with Order. This represents sixth house. 25 with 7, Uranus change, and 49, signs. So this is death, basically. So I'm seeing here planting seeds that did not grow and really seeing which part of your life kind of um, that's dying or it's not growing. It's stagnant. So with seven here, this is change in your seventh house, which is business partnership, relationship, um, just long-term commitment. And there's a shift here. And I think you're going to weed out whatever uh, no longer I'm getting mental health here. So if there's something in your life that's kind of like a dead weight that you have to kind of really bury, it's time to do that. Um, it's really affecting you mentally and you're really like unshackling yourself out of this. And it looks like you've been granted a sign or a lot of signs um, for the last seven weeks, seven months even um, from the divine. Okay, let's go ahead and start with your oracle. We have urn with five in uh, cancer, lost, death, for feature, grief, closed up, bereaved, break up, poverty. And we have baby, cardinal, new beginning, rapid growth, fresh start. So I'm seeing this as more of a cardinal signs are the action taker. Um, a lot of them have a tough time uh, staying power wise. So like, these are people that have a lot of like a visionary basically so it looks like you're putting what no longer serves you to the side and really like saying saying your piece and really leaving it behind and shifting towards a new possibility that has life in it um you could be wanting to have a baby or starting like a family but i'm sensing more of with um since I was focusing on money so this could be a new business endeavor or something that has a lot of I'm getting like a lot of life in it I don't know why I'm, it's kind of like that it's 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 kind of trippy um, so if this is a business you want to move out of you want to head towards where there's more money income like flow stream career wise as well um we have 17 with action so you're gonna really wait until it's quiet for you to move um let me get you a tarot cards because action here you're gonna wait until it's really dead dead i don't know if this is a marriage or a business partnership like all like everything is sealed like literally there's no way of resist resuscitating it and that's when you move forward for this new beginning okay let's go ahead and get the rest we have sports collaborate or work as a team to boost your finances we have the past the past is coming back old job or old connections and we have real estate any dealings in real estate will be profitable at this time so it looks like you're really um i don't know if you want to do a move because real estate is here in action or you're waiting for the market to drop to invest in real estate because i think the bubble is about to pop anytime soon so that could be it as well and really like investing maybe not in the metropolitan or maybe you're eyeing buildings that um, or penthouses or homes that people are leaving towards different areas I don't know why I'm getting that as well or um, but this past might come back to actually help you invest in this new beginning I don't know what this is. Let me get tarot cards. Let me get this one. Okay, what is this, Michael? Past 
for Gemini. The past is holding you back. Teach yourself to be present. Getting like a snake clingy energy. This is someone that really, really is in love with you, be it man or woman. They're in their feminine energy. And this is someone that does not want you to move forward or do any research to move forward. Um, why am I getting very controlling here? Yeah, they don't want you to be independent. So this could be a mom or an ex that really does not want you to move forward. And high priestess. And you've been also keeping silent to keep the peace. I don't think you've been telling this person where you want to head next because it looks like this person will stop you at every point. Okay, so I guess in a way, teamwork here, before it really is dead dead, the relationship, um, that's when you move forward. It looks like you're still hushing everything out. So if there's paperwork, legalities that needs to be addressed, you're doing that and playing um, like the team player before you really head towards your own stability in new beginning. Okay, we have happiness. So this is what, where you're heading springtime things are beginning to bloom so it's kind of like the baby like a rebirth and just birth springtime represents birth for me we have autumn time things will fall into place and special date um, so this could be happening around your birthday something important um, I'm getting cross so when is that, you know, like that thing where Jesus dies? What is that, 40 days, 40 nights? It could be around this time. I don't know what time frame, I'm sorry. I'm Catholic and, oh, well, I was born Catholic. But I really, I forgot, it's been so long. Um, autumn time here, it looks like it could be now. Or you're going to start fading away from this partnership now and really kind of slowly peeling your energy away and springtime you're really going to move forward towards this happiness this neon lighting thing um you could be heading towards a metropolitan uh, place i'm getting like a very i don't know a new york uh like a very hectic fast-paced lifestyle so this could be japan even um, South Korea, like places that don't sleep, um, just a lot of like billboards, like neon lighting. So this could be where you're heading towards next. Okay, we have the Magician, Law of Attraction, Materializing Wealth, Desires Within Reach, the Star, uh, Turn for the Better, On the Right Track, King of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Eight of Wands, and Five of Wands. Okay, again, movement forward. Um, you're going to save the best for last, basically dropping this bomb, saying that you're going to head towards somewhere, wherever this is for you. And while, because you don't want the drama to ensue, so you're waiting this to the very last. And you're going to deliver it succinctly with no room for error, no room for doubt. Um, the magician, basically right now you're just manifesting all the resources that you can. So if you have all your paycheck, you're putting it to the side um, quietly so no one can know. Uh, I don't know why it's just silent like that. But you're stable, but again, your your money is kind of in the dark. You move in the dark. The star, you only see it at night. And the only time you count your money or touch this money is around nighttime. Again, I think this Queen of Cups is someone or something that you're kind of needing to hide from. I don't know who this is. It could be a, a friend, a partner, something that you have to put an end to. Like, 
obviously not literally but i'm talking about like the relationship wise okay so yeah slowly but surely you're moving away from this and heading towards i don't know like neon lights are you opening like a bar or a restaurant this really small pinnacle could head towards just heavy shower of fame abundance whirlwind of money i don't know what this is gemini but you're gonna be wearing that all that glitter okay um guidance for gemini michael we have 38 yes you are correct you have listened to your inner guidance and made a wise choice keep moving forward again action and we have 37 welcome abundance into your life prosperity is on its way to you have faith that source will hear your, heal your financial challenges and we have 23 underneath pray from the heart to prayer really can move mountains reach out to the divine with your heart's concerns and watch miracles unfold all right so this is all i have for you gemini like and subscribe if you haven't done already i wish you guys lots of love happiness and abundance and healing have a great week bye